guys, it's Tuesday and this is the Texas Fly Fishing Report for the first full week of September. It must be about the 4th I think today and uh, we've got a tropical storm coming our way. Here in North Texas we've already had a disturbance that's, that's pouring some rain into North Texas so the fishing is kind of ground to a halt. However, I know that this kind of condition right here with these kind of clouds brings us a certain fish on Lake Ray Roberts is very unusual and very large. We do have a population of marauding grass carp and I saw them the last time I was out there and they run in the 50 pound class. So that's sticking in my mind right now. We've got another tropical storm coming our way. It's going to be a lot of rain. And that goes for the rest of the state of Texas as well. So if you're looking for information on fly fishing in Texas, I'd say don't do it this week. It's just, it's just going to be wild and wacky weather weekend, or week, I should say. Um, you know, if you're like me and you like trying different things at different times, you can get out in the rain and catch fish. They eat, whether it's raining or sunny or whatever. So just be careful. Um, and it does, in my case, bring out other fish, especially grass carp. They seem to be much more um, free to roam when uh, it's not a bright sunny day. We're headed into the fall patterns now. The water's cooling down, the daytime temperatures are getting cooler, and the days are getting shorter. Specifically what that does for what I do, which is fly fishing for carp off a of skiff here in North Texas, believe it or not, what that does is the sun angle starts to go further south in the sky, makes it a little tougher, and makes that window a little tighter for being able to see the fish. But they do come up in greater numbers than they do during the absolute apex, you know, when the sun is the highest and the hottest. So there's more fish now than there were then because of the temperatures. Um, but it's a, it's a smaller window. On the coast, what I'm seeing is plenty of fish being caught. It's just, Texas is enjoying a situation where without any tidal events, we've had blue, three blue water events in Galveston where the blue water comes in so close that you can fish for deep sea fish off the jetties, which is just crazy. I can't even begin to tell you. Um, I haven't made one of those events yet, but I'm already tying flies and I do sell flies for specific Texas uh, fly fishing. And one of them is a, Clouser that has been very successful for me during the during the runs of flounder in Galveston. So, assuming that I'll make the Galveston flounder run, which comes in November, late November, after the if we have a really good cold front, then that'll come. Then we'll do a video of that. I've done some in the past. It's it's really fun to catch flounder on a fly rod. Unbelievable and pretty easy actually if you just know how to put pressure on a flounder because. They put pressure on us when we're catching them in a certain way that I don't think a lot of people think about. And I'll tell you more about that in that video with flounder, hopefully November, December. Meanwhile, I've run a couple of ads lately for products I'm selling. The, uh, this mat, this rubber mat I'm selling for skiff and uh, kayaks, the fly line tamer thing. And uh, of course, another ad will be coming out probably in a couple of weeks for or maybe even just a week for um, the rod socks, the fleece rod socks I make, custom length if you need it, but generic lengths for four piece fly rods. They're very handy. They, they make it so if you're backpacking, you don't have to use a rod tube or take a rod tube with you with that extra weight. And then they're very, very efficient. I've got mosquitoes landing on me. We know that uh, this is North Texas and it's been raining. Uh, check out your reports. I've noticed that on YouTube, the Texas Insider Fishing Report has really picked up their pace as far as when they post their videos. Check those guys out. Of course, subscribe to the TPWD the feed as well. I'll go ahead and run the feed. As this is Tuesday, by Thursday in two days, that feed will be replaced by another one, which should be almost identical, except that we do have that problem with these tropical storms coming aboard here. And that's why I got my surfboard out, actually. Surfboard's ready to go if we get some good storm surf. We're only predicted for landfall over in Alabama on the uh, Redneck Riviera for F1, which won't do much, except that it's, it's going that direction, so it might blow some waves into Galveston. We'll just have to see. Uh, if I get storm surf, you just, uh, you won't see me for a while. 
So there's the board, got it down from the Raptors. We'll see what happens. Thanks for watching, have a great week, and I will try to get these reports out more timely on a Monday or the weekend for the following week. You know me, a holiday weekend like we just had, you won't catch me on the water. Uh, more uh, The uh, Labor Day weekend is one of those that uh, it got rained out here in North Texas, so it didn't really matter. We couldn't have been out there anyway, but I wouldn't have been out there if I could. So. We just, we just really do skip the holiday weekends here. Thanks for watching. Have a great week, and we'll talk to you next time. www.texasflycaster.com. More details and more information and things you can purchase as well, made by me with this, these hands right here in the United States of America.